Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 20th, 2023. Well, we had kind of a interesting weekend, um, some things happening around the world, but nothing so much as to really create lots and lots of volatility this morning. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Um, Overnight, we had Asian markets that were mostly positive uh, on the day. We had China leaving their benchmark rates um, as is. There was no surprise there. Um, and Japan um, w continued to move higher and briefly touched a 33-year high before turning back lower, closing down 197 points. Let's take a look at European markets this morning. European markets are very mixed here this morning, but nothing major, kind of um, modest gains and losses across the board there. And we have um, oil stocks moving up once again, um, as we heard that OPEC is uh, considering some deeper production cuts that's pushing those prices back up here this morning. So what does all this mean for today? Well. How about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, fellow traders. Let's take a look at these charts, try to shake off a little bit of bias and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, uh, taking a look here at the diamonds, you can see we've had a nice little resting consolidation in here. Uh, four days where we just, we've just we been banging our head against this resistance. So far have not been able to push on through there, but um, this is a nice little tight consolidation. So there's every reason to believe that that is possible. And if those bulls can find enough inspiration here, I'd look for that area up there to maybe pop and break on through if they can find that inspiration. Certainly we're in a very strong upside trend. It's very steep. In fact, it's parabolic in its move. The longer we rest here, probably the better structurally for the market. But for now, um, going into a holiday, who knows um, if we can find enough inspiration to push up through there. Now, if we take a look across here, this would be the next resistance level above um, in that chart. If the bears, however, find inspiration, well, let's look and see if we can break the top of that white candle right there. And if we do break that, I would be looking for these next levels down in here on the diamonds for a retest in the chart. And being so parabolic right now, that really shouldn't be out of the question. But with the um, the energy that we see in this market for the upside and the fact that we are really getting a lot of corporate buyback activity going on here, then there is that possibility we could continue to stretch um, here into the holiday. Taking a look on Friday, you'll notice that our volume was very, very low and we we just struggled in here on Friday. And I think it was just that um, that overextension and then of course the holiday coming up here and that's one thing we'll need to be thinking about this is expected to be one of the largest travel days in history coming up um, on Wednesday so you could kind of expect today would be rather normal I would say in volume Tuesday don't be too surprised if we start to see it beginning to dry up with so many people trying to travel you can expect that they've probably picked up flights on on Tuesday and Wednesday to, to get to grandma's house on uh, Thursday so uh, be kind of watching for that light volume chop to potentially come up and then of course, Friday is likely going to be um, kind of a, a non-event overall with um, the market closing early that day and observance to the holiday. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Um, also holding in this nice little consolidation. It's And you'll notice there's this little teeny tiny creep to the upside here going on in that chart. Now, we've been banging our head here against this as well, trying to see if we can 
pop through that resistance in the chart. So far, we haven't had the energy to do that. You'll notice that um, we've been struggling a little bit here with volume. We saw Friday just a little bit of surge right there at the end of the day trying to push us through. So if those bulls can push on through, find some inspiration here and break on through to the upside today, we've got a little bit of resistance right in there to be looking at. And if they can push on through there, maybe just a little bit higher, that little consolidation area right there in the chart could provide a tiny little bit of resistance. If those bears were to find inspiration here and pushing us down, then um, testing the top side of that candle where we've tested before would be the first area I'd be watching closely A failure down through there. Of course, maybe the bottom of the candle and then of course on down to this major resistance or support area in the chart could be in play now one thing i didn't mention in the diamonds but we'll take a look here in the spy one thing we need to consider is just how elevated we are away from our 50-day moving average and realize that a pullback could begin at any period of time just because we're so overextended the good news is is our short-term moving averages are coming up to support um, underneath that 50 day because we went up so fast there's just really not much in here for support um, yet until we come all the way back down to that 50 day moving average if we take a look at our QQQ also extremely extended in the short term big gap left behind here in that chart well you can imagine on a pattern like this if we were to find some bearishness and gap below that well everyone would be talking about the island reversal uh, pattern in the market so we'll want to watch that carefully right now as we continue to press the yearly highs here in the QQQ we still have not been able to get up here and I've been a little bit surprised that we have not been able to push on through that um, annual high and start working for a test of the all-time highs here in the market but so far we've just been lacking some inspiration there to get that done volume has been a little bit less than normal so let's keep a close eye on that again with the corporate buybacks it's certainly possible that um, and and corporate um, things that are all these companies are coming out from there underneath their blackout period I think it's um, no, I think we've passed most of that most of those companies are out of that blackout period so watching this we can see that opportunity that we could pop on through here um, and then start working to run up here and test these all-time highs in the market if the bears however were to find inspiration well let's look for a retest of this little area right in here we've tested once before see if there's a little bit of selling there and if the bears push on through there then of course we come down here to this little bit more important support area in the chart that extends over there to the left let's take a look at our um, iwm iwm also has been um, pushing, pushing, pushing to the upside, but lagging way behind the rest of the market. The good news is we broke through this resistance here in the chart, and I really should at this point in time turn both of these green. Go ahead and do that here really quick because we've actually moved through that resistance area and we've tested both of them um, as support. You can see right in here we moved through they came back to support and bounced on up moved through came back in support bounced on up so we're bullish on those two patterns however we're still stuck underneath this pretty substantial resistance area we tried it once tried to break through and test that next higher level gave it up pulled back pretty hard and we've consolidated the last couple of days here below that level so if the bulls can find that inspiration then we would look for that pop through up here and by the way i want to uh, point out that there is the current trend and that possibility that we could stay stuck in this range until we come all the way back over here to this trend so remember one of the one of the th circumstances of a big straight up run like we've had in the market could be a longer term resting consolidation so if we can pop through here let's uh, test retest this resistance up here and if the bears find inspiration then let's for, look for a pullback and see if we can hold this black candle low again 
and if not maybe at least that price support if we fall into this gap that's where things could get a little bit ugly if that were to occur let's take a look at our vix here in the market our vix has been well a little bit um, extended to the downside not a little bit we're we're kind of showing a lot of complacency here in the market everyone is just really really sure that the Fed is finished that everything is copacetic um, here on out but be really careful because remember the Fed has not been saying that the Fed has been saying yeah, there may still be some more rate increases on the way so keep an eye on that remember um, when we push the market up like we have we could actually reignite inflation and um, create um, a, another situation where that inflation pops back up and we end up double dipping um, on the work that the Fed's going to have to do so watch that that carefully but right now there's not much fear here in the market at all if we take a look at our t2122 our t2122 continues to push to the upside and press these um, these areas these overbought areas here in the market remember t2122 is not an arbitrary indicator it is the four week new high and new low ratio and when we uh, continue to press this up here you you'll notice no matter how far back you go in t2122 it cannot go past 100. Um, it can touch 100 i've seen it touch 100 it can't go past 100. so keeping that in mind we don't have a whole lot of upside uh, move here that we can uh, make in the market in, in the T2122 indicator, which means we still have a lot of stocks that could be languishing um, in the market, despite the fact we have a select few continuing to push our indexes higher. Now, that being said, if the bears were to find inspiration here today, we certainly have plenty of downside opportunity if they were to, to engage in, in something in some way i don't know what that would be but watch that carefully and then if we take a look at our um, t2108 t2108 extended up on friday which was interesting the fact that we were languishing so much but t2108 extended through we had more stocks slipping above their 40-day moving average so 61.5% of the stocks above their 40-day, that certainly is bullish. And we're running into an area where there will be maybe a little resistance, a little bit higher. And you'll want to keep in mind somewhere between about 65 and 75% of the stocks in the market tends to be a topping area um, where we've just kind of overextended and uh, then we get that pullback or resting period in the market. Our uh, T2107 um, also extended just a little bit higher here and particularly right at the end of the day, we pushed up 41.58 percent of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average and you'll notice right through here we do have a little bit of price resistance and one of the reasons this is like so much behind the other index is just simply because we don't have the magnificent seven in the russell and so we have one major index that continues to just lag behind without the influence of big tech so watch that carefully as well then let's take a look at our t2101 t2101 is the absolute market breadth and this i think is the impact where we really did very little moving around on friday in fact it was dead boring in the market all day but as we pushed up here, you can see that we extended the breadth of the market. Again, I think that's the effect of corporate buybacks really pounding in there, wanting to get their corporate buyback work done before the end of the year, trying to push that higher. It just wasn't enough to really inspire a lot of energy to the upside in the indexes. But that's good news for the, uh, the bulls is that breadth continuing to expand let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today 
And our earnings calendar, we've got a few stocks to be paying attention to. I'll run through those really quick. We're going to hear from Allegiant today. Uh, it's been breaking through some resistance, putting in a higher low in here, showing that upside trend. So this would be an important report. BRBR has been in a beautiful upside trend, um, pulling back to support heading into its earnings report here could be very important to determine whether or not we're going to continue that trend or if we start moving south and breaking that trend. KEYS I've got on the list today. Big shot rally into um, its earnings report coming up into this resistance with a great big gap above if we can find that inspiration today in the earnings report so keep an eye on keys and last but not least we've got zoom mobile um, that will be reporting today trying to pop up here in the pre-market move a little bit higher so watch that closely been moving in this upside trend but you will want to notice it's coming into a substantial price resistance area in the chart so keep an eye on zoom mobile that's it for the earnings outlook for today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Our economic calendar, well, it's really, really light this morning. Not much going on here. We've got leading indicators, a couple of bond auctions in here to be paying attention to. 20-year um, auction certainly um, could be interesting at 1 p.m. Um, after that, this week is pretty light we're heading into the holiday uh, we've got existing home sales we've got an fomc minutes coming out here on tuesday we're going to um, put mortgage applications um, like always on wednesday durable goods orders could be market moving jobless claims consumer sentiment and a petroleum status number at the end of the day we've got a natural gas report there are some bond auctions in there, bond auctions in here on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we're going to head into the Thursday shutdown. Keeping in mind that on Friday, we have a shortened day. The market will close early on Friday. We've got a PMI number coming in. We've got a Fed balance sheet and an OPEC meeting to be thinking about, but all in all, pretty light week of both earnings and economic reports to really move the market a lot. Let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs, thumbs up button, leave that brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. As you know, I try to answer all of those comments. It is very, very important to me. And also, um, if you could do me that favor, share this video out on your social media feed. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to give a big shout out. Thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link. And you'll find that just below the title of the video. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks in here that could be setting up. And remember, they're not a recommendation to to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market. And remember that, um, well, you've got to follow your own trading rules, your own trading guidelines, and you should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. You know, you know I've been doing this for um, 30 years and uh, more than 30 years now, um, full time, more than 20 years. And I got to tell you, um, everyone has to, to follow your path. You have to follow your rules, your guidelines. Um, two traders sitting right beside each other might see a stock completely differently. 
and might trade it completely differently. Um, one trader makes money, one trader loses money, even in times when they try to follow each other. So be really, really careful here. Never ever, never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at some stocks that might be setting up. I've created some alerts here in the charts. Um, I'm really liking SKLZ the way it is setting up here. Nice break of the downtrend. Nice um, move to the upside. You can see we're holding some price support. We're consolidating our way over here to trend. I would be watching for that next opportunity for SKLZ to pop on through. You'll notice here that we're up above our 50 day moving average, um, which puts us in what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. Just a great, great potential pattern to trade. And it's looking pretty good there on SKLZ. Uh, PLTR. Uh, PLTR, I placed a price alert here on this chart as well, and it extended right through there on Friday and is continuing to move. Now, I chose not to buy it on Friday, but um, trying to extend right on through to the upside here um, in the chart, looking very bullish. If that can continue, you might want to look at some of these next resistance levels up here that we're extending into and we might be coming into that resistance here soon so watch that carefully in pltr but looking very very bullish let's take a look uh, at tlt you guys know that i've been mentioning tlt and if we continue to see those bond uh, yields pulling back and we um, continue to see this extreme confidence that the fed is not going to be taking any more actions and as a matter of fact everyone seems to be in the belief that the fed is going to soon be cutting rates i don't see that happening myself but looking in here we're getting that move where we're breaking the downtrend holding higher lows in tlt and i think there may be that possibility coming here that there is the big unwind that could occur here in bonds and that means uh, what I mean by that is a potential short squeeze to the upside here in uh, TLT as folks um, have to cover those um, short positions that they've been holding for so long here in bonds. Watch that closely. It's not a confirmed move at all, but it is something to be paying attention to. Um, if we take a look at the U.S. dollar, U.S. dollar just a little bit lower here this morning. So we can see that collapse um, beginning to occur here in the dollar, moving in a downtrend here and actually fairly sharply to the downside, breaking support areas in the chart. So as that occurs, um, we can see TLT um, starting to move to the upside and we could start to see um, some of those commodity prices move to the upside as well. Take a look at stocks like Alcoa. Alcoa coming up here in the chart, putting in a little bit of an upside trend. Struggling right in here uh, to break on through, but it's coming close. And you can see little rest consolidation in here could certainly provide that inspiration to start moving on through there on Alcoa. Keep an eye on that copper. Um, well, if we look at Freeport here, copper's made a move to the upside. It's trying to get moving in here. Um, may need a little consolidation or a little rest in that chart. But if that dollar continues to weaken it, it there's every reason to believe that that could, could continue to extend right on through to the upside. And of course, gold. Um, gold is something, um, whoops, better get the right symbol here. Um, gold has been making these moves to the upside here. Um, breaking through resistance in the chart. I think as long as we hold above that, we're okay. I don't wanna see this end up being a lower high right here, failing down through that area. But if this were to hold in here, continue on up and with a weakening dollar, that's certainly a possibility. So keep an eye on GLD. You might also want to keep an eye on silver 
and you might want to keep an eye on steel stocks. Um, CLF has been holding up nicely here, pushing into some resistance, but looking good. Take a look at Steel Dynamics. Steel Dynamics has broken through a major resistance here in the chart, potentially holding a higher low. I think there may be some upside opportunities potentially coming here in Steel Dynamics, especially if uh, bond yields continue to weaken and the dollar continues to fall. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I think it would be a good idea to be keeping an eye on some of these builder material stocks, um, even though they've warned and, and warned consistently of slowing consumer demand. You can see Lowe's is going to report here on the 21st. I think I'd have to wait on this until after the 21st. There's our upside trend, but this could gap higher or lower depending on how um, they report. Remember, Home Depot reported that the consumer was slowing. That hasn't slowed down buying in here. Uh, they've continued to push that up, so it is definitely one to be watching as well. You might want to keep an eye on Chewy. This is a nice looking chart, I think. Um, nice little resting pattern after breaking a major downtrend. You have to remember where this thing came from. We were up here in the stratosphere on Chewy, and now we're well below even IPO prices here in the chart very very oversold and i just doubt people are going to stop um, uh, feeding their pets um, so watch that carefully in here if this is um, the beginning of a trend chewy may have some good upside potential for a longer term also take a look at mickey d's mickey d's continuing to make that move as you know i've been placing alerts on this chart all over the place and we just continue to move to the upside in this nice little run here it's relatively concise as well it's not real gappy it is pretty darn parabolic i'll give it that and if you look right here we're coming into a major area of price resistance so don't be surprised if this has to slow down or pull back in that same area you might want to keep an eye on starbucks here it's been running hard running into a, a major topping pattern here but if we continue to hold this strength in the market, any rest or pullback may set up that next opportunity to the upside. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. Wish you great results. Thank you so much for listening and being here today, supporting the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all the very best, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care, everyone.